Monster Waves Caught on Camera Scary Moments at Sea Waves aren't always about soothing feelings that help you fall asleep. Sometimes they're so scary that they render you awake and lead to sleepless nights. Let's hear the scream of the sea in the form of huge waves that were luckily caught on camera. Today we're looking at seven enormous waves that were photographed. Sometimes seemingly harmless waves grow in size and become seriously threatening. Let's look at some unforgettable spine-chilling moments at sea. Wahoo Nuclear Test Wave On July 22, 1946, the American military attempted an experimental nuclear test. There was a joint Army-Navy task force. A strangely named nuclear weapon, Helen of Bikini, was suspended 90 feet below the water's surface, near the center of the Atoll of Bikini. It's one of the lonely coral reefs that comprise the Marshall Islands. A raid was conducted near the 21 kiloton bomb. The Navy had a point to prove. In this new era of nuclear warfare in which the Air Force could rain down explosives on entire nations, of what use is a naval force? The military leaders who proposed the test wanted to show that their ships could ride out a nuclear attack and that the fleet was not outdated. When Helen of Bikini exploded, it created a giant underwater bubble of hot gas. In seconds, the bubble hit the seafloor, where it blasted a crater 30 feet deep and at least 1,800 feet wide. At the same time, the surface of the lagoon erupted into a giant column of water, 2 million tons of it, which shot more than 5,000 feet into the air, over an area of half a mile wide. In the seconds after the blast hit the surface, a cloud of radioactive condensation spread across the lagoon, hiding the column of water and shooting upwards. At the top, a mushroom cloud of gas bloomed against the sky. The U.S. government only tested nuclear weapons underwater three more times. In 1958, as part of Operation Hardtack, the military set off another deep water detonation and another lagoon detonation. The Yahoo event video is quite moving and awesome to witness. Wave Attack on Ship Despite not technically being a tsunami wave, a huge wave stuck on the broadside of a cruise ship carrying 1,000 passengers and nearly capsized the poor vessel. However, viewers can see the boat take on water and destabilize it as it rolls into the furious surf in the footage of this event, which was shared anonymously on YouTube with little to no information. Thankfully, the ship was able to right itself and continue on its mission. The North Sea Wave It's disturbing to watch a video of the exact moment a ship was sucked up by a massive wave. Video captured the bow of the ship as a 100-foot wave rolled toward it before striking it with a devastating blow, while the ship was out in the northern sea during a strong storm. The force of the sea wave might have ended in calamity if the ship had been smaller. In the footage, a Scottish male could be heard giggling between chuckles. He exclaimed, that's awesome, as the ominous wave struck. Since the terrifying clip was shared online, uploaded to YouTube in 2016, it has received 5.5 million views. Large ships are well built to survive extreme weather out in the open waters, but that doesn't make the experience any less alarming to people on board. The clip was shot in the North Sea between the UK and Norway. Cruise Ship Ambush in 2010, a cruise liner traveling through the Antarctic with 88 Americans and 77 crew people on board was damaged by ferocious seas. The Drake Passage, one of the world's roughest stretches of water, was being traveled by ship as it sailed from the Antarctic Peninsula back to Argentina. The 24-20-ton ship's crew overcame the damage and was safely returned to its scheduled port when the Calia 2 declared an emergency reporting it had suffered engine damage amid rough seas and 55 mile per hour winds while it was northeast of the South Shetland Islands on its way towards its destination in Argentina. 
The captain asserted that in his more than 160 trips to the Antarctic Peninsula, he had never encountered such weather. He said it was at four knots. A 30-foot wave that surged across the deck and damaged the glass on the bridge caused the ship to lose communications and electricity. And it then declared an emergency. No passengers were hurt during the trip. Another ship managed to capture the terrifying event on camera. National Geographic Explorer crew members were able to build a mine to send a satellite phone over to the stricken ship after spouting the Kalia 2 in difficulty and stopping to observe the situation. Wave Strikes on Anthem of the Sea Anthem of the Seas is the second vessel in its class and a Royal Caribbean International cruise ship of the Quantum class. Although it is undoubtedly one of the most modern cruise ships ever built, a rogue wave pummeled it a few years ago. The cruise ship they were aboard was being battered by enormous waves when a passenger remarked, Dude, man, we're not even moving. We're just sitting here. We're just trying to remain alive by staying put. Just fighting and trying to stay alive in one spot. Anthem of the Seas decided to turn around while it was battling through a hurricane in the Atlantic Ocean on its route to Port Carnival in Florida. Four people were hurt in the truly horrific incident from 2016 that was captured on film and released on Reddit. As the ship sailed, the cruise and suggested in a statement sent to the USA Today, that the extreme wind and sea conditions were unexpected, noting that an explosion just went off in the southeast U.S. coast in February 2016 had driven hurricane-force winds and whipping waves into a frenzy. Greater wind speeds than expected were present. The captain admitted to everyone the next morning that it was one of his most difficult days. Cargo Ship vs. Bad Weather Ship captains are accustomed to stormy seas. Having a larger ship makes things much simpler, even with their enormous sizes. Some of the bigger ships currently cruising the world's oceans are cargo ships, and even they occasionally encounter issues from choppy waters and big waves. Captains still need to understand how to handle and navigate through them. If the ship is in the incorrect posture, it could seriously harm the cargo and possibly endanger the ship itself. Before we get to this last clip, be sure to subscribe. If you're enjoying this clip and would like to see more like this one. The Bay of Biscay is located just off the shores of France and Spain. When this video begins, things are already pretty bad. The ship has found itself being thrown around by waves and rough seas. However, the main source of the danger wasn't in the weather or the rough seas. It was in how the ship was loaded. On this particular day, a fully loaded cargo ship was on a voyage to transport its payload when it encountered some bad weather. It's crucial to consider weight distribution when it comes to the ship's security. When carried out correctly, it can prevent a ship from listing or rocking in rough seas, but when carried out incorrectly, it can potentially represent a genuine threat to the ship, even putting it in danger of sinking. Although it is uncommon, there have been several close calls. While they may not pose much of a threat to us on land, enormous waves at seas constitute far more of a threat than we generally consider, and they undoubtedly help us understand the true strength that our planet can exhibit. Do you know what's even more intimidating than the crazy waves in the video? It's what your boss will do to you when he finds out that instead of watching another one of our scary videos, you decided to go back to work.